Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So jumping right in, I'm just going to be taking my favorite shadow primer at the moment and I already prepped my lids. And now I'm just applying some tape to the sides of my eyes just to make sure that we kind of have a base to work with in it. It's really good with keeping everything nice and clean, especially when working with really dark pigmented shadows, which we're going to be doing in this case. So I'm just using this kind of taupey shade to first build my crease and then we're jumping straight into the black shade. And the best thing too about using the tape as a guard is you don't have to worry about being too precise. So at this point I'm just packing the color all over the bottom portion of my lid all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner and then also dragging it underneath. And then same thing, repeating it on the other side. And then I'm just going to be using a darker taupey shade just to kind of blend out the edges so that they're not so harsh like they are right now. But the thing to kind of keep in mind is when you are blending out black shadow, you tend to lose pigmentation. So you can see right there it starts to get a little patchy. So I just go in with a flat synthetic brush and just keep packing the color on and then go back and blend it out, pack it on, blend it out. And that's the pattern throughout the whole look. And then once we do actually remove the tape, the line is just a little bit too harsh for my liking. So I just kind of diffuse it a little bit with a brush and then I go back in with a makeup wipe and just kind of clean away any fallout or anything that may have made a mess on our face. And then I'm just tight lining the upper and lower waterline, popping on some lashes, and then I did apply my mascara off camera, which is why you won't see that clip. And then also something that I realized after I finished filming is I completely forgot to highlight my brow bone. So highlight your brow bone because that will be the most beautiful finishing touch to the look. And I, like a complete idiot, totally forgot. I don't know how that happened. I never forget, but I forgot, so don't forget to do that. So then I'm just using that beautiful silver shade just to highlight my inner tear duct and I started off with a little bit at first and then I'm going to go in a little bit later and just kind of bring that color a little higher up in my tear duct as well. And then here I'm just going through my foundation routine and if you do want to see a more in-depth tutorial, I will link that down below. I did that a couple weeks ago so you can see all the details there. So I'm just powdering my face and then I'm going to be going in with a little bit of concealer just to kind of get rid of any of the redness underneath. And then I'm going to blend that out with a brush first and then I'm going to pat out the excess with my finger which I love to do. And then for some reason when I went in to set my concealer with powder, my camera stopped recording and I had no idea until I was actually done. And yeah, that's like the most frustrating thing of life. You continue to do your makeup and then you glance over and it's like movie stopped recording automatically. And I'm like, great, so glad that happened to me. So that is unfortunately why I couldn't include that clip. But yeah, I did set my concealer off camera. And then I'm just using this trio to use the bronzer, highlighter, and blush in one. It's just a lot simpler that way and I absolutely love, love, love the pigmentation and color payoff of this trio and for the price, it's amazing. And then I just went in with a nude lipstick to complete the look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will look forward to seeing you in my next one. Thanks guys, love you, bye!